I'm racist against birds. When it comes to other animals, I'm like Snow White. I'm cool with all of them. I've even been talking to them. I'm not crazy. I don't even like to kill bugs. When I see a cockroach, I don't even trip no more. I just give him a little warning like, hey pal, you're on the wrong side of town. I'm gonna let you off the hook now, but don't let me see you around these parts again. And then we exchange a few head nods. I support the lives of all animals. Don't get it twisted though. I ain't no vegan. Would I look like a loser? But something about birds doesn't make me violent. Actually, a lot of things about birds make me violent. I've been personally slighted by birds in the past, but more on that later. I'm gonna start by going down my long list of reasons of why I hate birds. So sit down and listen to me complain. Let's start with the obvious, okay? Birds are just evil. I have never caught a bird being a good Samaritan. They're always doing something wrong. Acting like we are angry birds in real life. Man, one day I was just driving and I saw this big bird flying with a whole cat in his talons, bro. Ruined my whole day. What is a bird finna do with a cat anyway? Go eat some worms or something. You know what? That bird probably grew up watching Looney Tunes and had to see Tweety Bird get harassed by that cat and was like, oh, one day I'm gonna get revenge for my nigga Tweety Bird. I'm gonna slide for you, boy. I got a question. Do birds hate dark skins or something? Cause I feel like I've been done dirty by a bird more than the average human. The fact that I got more than one negative interaction with a bird gotta mean something. One of my earliest memories from my childhood was when I was standing in my backyard, just minding my business. And then a bird just flew across my face. Just swiped my face like a credit card. Wells Fargo. Get it? Cause foul means bird. And Wells Fargo, the bank. He was supposed to laugh. And I just know that bird did it on purpose because I had to be like three feet tall. So that bird had to cautiously lower its altitude, align itself up with the center of my face and crash right into me. Never forget. I think I know what the problem is. I think I know why birds are such demons. Because think about it. These are living beings that can fly. That would make anyone an egotistical maniac. Bro, if I could fly, I'd be the biggest menace on earth. Somebody look at me wrong? I'm snatching their kid and putting them on the tallest building nearby. And all they can do is stand there looking stupid. But here's the thing. Even the birds that can't fly be so aggressive. I think they're even more aggressive because they're jealous they can't fly. Y'all ever had to deal with chickens? Ugh, they're the worst. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I got family in Gambia and Senegal. So in 2013, when I was like nine, I visited Gambia and I was staying at my aunt's house. And they had this chicken that had a few baby chicks. So I was bored and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go see what the chicken fam is up to. So I walked up to them and the chicken mom saw me and started doing that freaky thing birds do with their feathers. Just got all ruffled and weird. At the time, I didn't know that meant the chicken was getting mad. I thought it was trying to say hi, give me a hug or something. So I got closer to the chicks and this chicken started chasing me. So immediately I started running for my life, right? I ran a little bit thinking it was gonna stop chasing me. I look back, it's still coming for me. This nigga has stamina. So I kept running and then I tripped on something and I thought it was over. I'm like, yeah, bro, <laughs> this is it. I'm finna get pieced up by a chicken, get to heaven and just get laughed at. But eventually the chicken left me alone. I went back to Africa in 2022 thinking my chicken wanted level went down but nah they still had a problem with me we we're in synagogue visiting family and i was just standing outside minding my business i was wearing one of my favorite pair of vans and this baby chick walks up to me oh what's up bro <laughs> now you understand why i hate chickens unless they're baked fried or in between some bread another thing about birds is how they're so unpredictable and twitchy their movements are just so awkward and janky you could pay me to catch and hold a bird i'd rather hold a snake because at least if the snake tries to attack i could just tie it in a knot or like bite it in half like a Twizzler or spin it around like a lasso till it gets dizzy and then bite it. Another thing about birds is how demonic they look. The way they're designed is so intimidating. Like eagles, for example. You ever seen an eagle? Look like they wanna call me the N-word. They just, <laughs> they just look so menacing. Smile, bro. And there's some birds that don't even look real. There's this bird called a Lafarina and it straight up looks like something out of Terraria. I see this and feel the need to defend myself. Imagine it's dark and you're outside and in the distance you see this staring you down. It doesn't even look like, how does this count as a bird? Sometimes it looks like the Pringle logo going super sane. Bro, y'all ever seen a featherless owl? Jump scare. Take a look at this abomination with me, bro. It looks like an alien. What's your real name, Artemis213? If you told me that this animal was a carnivore, I wouldn't believe you. We're from apex predator to child predator. I was already even that scary for real. It's all feathers, bro. This is the equivalent of getting that knee surgery that makes you taller. No matter how much bone you add to your leg, we all know you're still short on the inside. I hate short people. There's this other bird called an umbrella bird. And what is that? What is that dangling on your neck, bro? Ugh, I would have pulled it. This bird wants to be opium so bad. Car already not signing you bro look like your name edgar i can't possibly see how that being on your neck can be comfortable this is like having your shoe untied all the time if they were smart enough they would get like a hair tie and wrap it up or something put it in a little bun speaking of how birds look y'all notice how every cartoon bird is an annoying character all of them simp mordecai roadrunner birdman toucan sam i don't know i feel like he touched kids 
there's barely any other bird characters that are really likable. Even the animation industry don't like birds, bro. They see the vision. Do birds actually do anything for the ecosystem? And I don't want to hear, oh, they help pollinate the plants. That don't count. That's not impressive. I feel like a lot of the things birds do is so unnecessary. Like all that yapping they be doing at 6 a.m. in the morning. All that hollering. Be so annoying. It's like nature set an alarm for me without my consent. Somebody arrest this guy. And when you really listen to what they saying, they're not even spitting for real. They just repeat the same bar over and over again. Just mix it up a little bit bro it's getting old i'm recording right now you could probably hear them outside the window listen i'll be right back and at this point i know y'all bird meat riders are fuming right now but hear me out on this next one the one thing i think everyone hates about birds is the fact that they drop dookie nukes on everyone's car come home with your freshly washed car the next day is painted the color poop they have no regard for the folks on the ground they just let it rip in the air y'all so smart to make nests why don't y'all make little bird stalls but no y'all want to hit a drive-by in everyone's car there's also this weird thing that eagles do that i found out about recently i was on instagram and there was these two eagles in the sky holding talons doing cartwheels bro while they were spiraling towards the ground i couldn't even believe it was real like bro is, is this ai is this chat gpt and then they let go of each other right before they hit the ground that's some tony hawk shit. get it hawk birds you were supposed to laugh as an animal how do you even come up with that but you know what? i kind of get it because look imagine how fun their lives already are they get to fly all day long but eventually they're gonna get bored of that so they gotta ramp up the thrill a little bit you know what i'm saying add a little risk to it if i ever saw that in real life though with no prior knowledge about it i probably would freak out thinking the world is ending this is two-headed demon flying towards you all right this last thing some birds do that's been in my mind is actually concerning you ready why are we so okay with knowing that there's some birds out here that can talk that that's not normal don't tell me that's normal if i told you my pet could talk you would say jaw you crazy but if i said it's a parrot or a raven you say yeah it's a parrot that's what they do this is insane imagine the first person that discovered that some birds can talk wow this is a nice looking bird wow this is a nice looking bird I have got to put the coke down. And I know parrots don't actually know what they're saying. They're just repeating what they hear. But one day these dudes are going to get advanced enough to the point where they're going to start speaking their mind. Parrot is going to come up to you and just be like, hey, tough guy. Heard you ain't like birds. So guess what? I'm coming for your girl. I'm coming for your kids. I'm coming for your moms. And just fly away. And you try to tell someone about it and they're like, yeah, it's a parrot. That's what they do. There are a few birds that I actually like though. Well, only one bird. And that's penguins, bro. Penguins are just so cool. They're the best. You never hear anything bad about them. I never went outside and got assaulted by a penguin. You know why? Because they live in Antarctica? No, stupid. Because they actually have respect. How many penguin movies are out there? Happy Feet, Surf's Up. Ugh, it's so cool. I went back and watched it yesterday. This is legit. Like, I'm not even joking. The best animated movie ever. Penguins of Madagascar. Happy Feet 2. Pengu. <laughs> Penguins got a chokehold on Hollywood, bro. I even used to have this penguin character that I drew a lot back in middle school. If you watch my 100K special video, you know what I'm talking about. And when I was first planning out my YouTube channel, I considered making him my character. I could have been a penguin, bro. But every other bird can get deep fried. I don't care. And that right there brings me to my last point. The only time I will enjoy birds is if they in this gut. Man, they taste so good. Matter of fact, we need to start eating more birds, bro. Why stop at chickens? I'm trying to take my hatred to the next level. I want to seek my teeth into some woodpecker tenders, some grilled bald eagle breasts, flamingo kung pao. But in the meantime, I support every restaurant that serves chicken. Chick-fil-A, Popeyes, Arby's, Okay, not Arby's. Imagine being killed for food just to end up in the Arby's mountain meat sandwich. Get to heaven and just get laughed at. You know what would be cool? If chickens could choose what restaurant they got served at before they got cooked. I think that's fair. You know, let them fill out a little Google form survey before they die. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, send me, send me to this five star restaurant right here. I'm trying I'm trying to get all up, man. I'm trying to get all up. Lay it on a toasty brioche bun. Okay, subscribe. Please.